what we eat is important for how healthy we are. And our diets are getting worse and worse. Three out of four adults in the US are currently overweight and almost 40% are obese. Diet related diseases like obesity cause one in seven deaths that could otherwise have been prevented. In our research, we try to understand why people eat this food that makes them ill. And some of that is preferences. People simply like the taste of these processed foods that are not very good for us. But we argue that there is an important role for the environment as well, and in particular the fact that healthy food is less affordable than unhealthy food. And this finding opens the door for the government to intervene and for policy to remedy this problem. We focus on consumption of fruits and vegetables by US families. And we look at how purchases and prices vary with the income of the family and also the income of the neighborhood where those families live. Our first result states that households that live in poor areas face relatively higher prices for fruits and vegetables than those living in middle income areas. This observation means that unhealthy diets must be driven at least in part by something other than preferences. If people in poor areas ate less fruits and vegetables only because they liked them less, that is, if only demand were lower in these areas, then we would expect both purchases and prices to be lower in poor areas. The fact that prices are higher in poor areas indicates that these high prices must be driven at least in part by supply factors and that purchases of fruits and vegetables are low in part because prices are high. While it's not surprising that there is some role of the environment in all of this, it's not obvious how large it is and how much better would our diets be if we could fix the inefficiencies in the food environment. To answer these questions, we develop a structural model where households willing to buy both healthy and unhealthy food interact with food retailers that might be subject to fixed cost. Here, prices arise as an equilibrium object from these interactions. We then estimate the model to mimic the observed behavior of consumption and price levels for households of different income levels. We find that fixed cost associated with retailing food play a much larger role in the price of fruit and vegetables than in prices of other food. They distort the relative price of fruit and vegetables by at least 40%. And these high prices imply that consumers, on average, buy 15% less fruit and vegetables than they would have if they were sold at marginal cost. That 15% underconsumption of fruit and vegetables accounts for a big part of the gap between the average amounts of fruit and vegetable consumed and the recommended intake. How can we close this gap? Because the gap originates from the inefficiency in the supply side of the economy, then there is a role for government intervention. We propose a subsidy on fruit and vegetables that will be financed through a progressive tax and that will fix the price distortion. This policy lowers the fruit and vegetable price, thus improving diets and also making every single consumer in the economy better off. 